野球部には私たちマネージャーが手伝いに行きますおおまあそこセンプス The Sims, bro, that's crazy. Look at her. Today, we're checking out episode four of Alia Sometimes Hides Her Feelings in Russian. But first, if you enjoy the video, like, comment, and subscribe. That way, you can help us reach 100,000 subscribers by the end of the year. Though, I know a lot of you are subscribed. And for those of you that are, I appreciate it. You can find the full link as well as exclusives over on Patreon. Plus, you'll find some other links down in the description, like the link to my other channel where I do non anime reactions, if that interests you, or the link to my Twitch channel where literally on Wednesdays, you could be like these people right here, hanging out with me and watching some anime. I actually stream on a bunch of different days where I watch a bunch of different anime if you stop by the Twitch stream. Just saying. Maybe stop by sometime. That's all you. Yeah, she just likes cute shit. Why are you answering my question with a question? Oh. So he believes that he has to have a goal beyond just being the vice president. He has to find a benefit from it for himself. I think he is meant to be a politician. That's what politicians are, right? They try to find a benefit in the power that they've gotten. They get power, they abuse it so that way they get more of whatever they want. <laughs> Wow. The glow up is crazy. And now look at him. President of the school. Great, great of the student council. That's what a good politician does. They do things to help the people, not just themselves. Or not themselves at all. Hmm. So who are you going to try and make president? Alia or your sister? He's going to help. He's going to help settle it. He's good at this type of shit, right? This, this I feel is where his, this is his wheelhouse. This is bread and butter. I don't know. There's a term. There's a, like a, a, a saying for this, whatever. Bro, I'm gonna be real with you. I think the baseball team gets priority here because they have pro scouts coming. Their whole lives can change right now. It's so ironic. Hey, stop being selfish, uh, bitch. <laughs> That's what you're doing. You're being selfish. If we're being selfish, you're being selfish too. This is where our boy comes in and saves the day. Come on, brother! Or not. Until the one person you can trust shows up to save the day. Damn, they got her crying. Damn, they got her crying straight up. Jesus. I'm learning. I'm learning some, some Russian. Pamagite. I was close. Pamagimne. Okay, so Kawaran lied to us. All right, let's listen to her say it again. W one more time, chat. Hold on. Kutonibuchi. Pamagite. He gonna save the day. Come on, brother. Before stepping in, he heard it. Pamagichi. And then he heard the Russian. And then he heard the Russian. And you know what my boy had to do? You know what he had to do, chat? Correct. He had to rush in. Pamagichi. That shit hit him. Kutonibuchi. All right, his Russian don't sound his his Russian don't slap the same, bro. It's different. It's a little. It's just eh. Uh, anyways, I was gonna say that's interesting. When she needs help, she asks in Russian. She asks in a language that no one around her knows, 
And that's why she doesn't get the help. Interesting. Pomegichi. This makes sense, bro. There are people on the soccer team that aren't going to play. I saw, like, when I was in high school, I didn't play soccer, don't get me wrong. But when I was in high school, I recorded soccer games for the soccer team so that way they can make little highlight reels and so that way they can, you know, show them off to colleges and then not get into any of them. There were definitely some people on the bench that never played. Definitely. Uh, there are a few. All right, we probably had, like, a good maybe four or five people out of the starting 11 that stayed on the field. And then everyone else got swapped at some point. I like that the baseball captain recognizes. He recognizes. Sims! The Sims! Bro, that's crazy! These Sims were like, you know what? Riverside sounds kind of good. I actually, I actually been, you know what? I've been thinking, I don't even like the field here. I'd, ra I'd rather be at the Riverside. Why does anybody want to play at the school? Let's go to the Riverside, guys. It's actually a better field when you think about it. Like, what the fuck? They just folded so fast. Once girls said that they would help, they're like, oh, yeah, we'll go. Simps, bro. That's crazy, bro. Once the girls became an option, you know? He did the thing, chat! We spent 20 minutes talking about soccer versus football. And now look. Wow. She's falling for him. Wait, who's falling for him? Saying Ali has fallen for him? Brother, she fell. She keeps on falling. It's a long drop. She stays falling for him. Actually, it might be more accurate to say she's already on the ground. Yeah, yeah, she's already reached the bottom of whatever she fell off of. Mm. Oh, is that who you meant? You meant the the manager of the soccer team is falling for him? Hey, yo, my guy's smart, bro. Okay. I like that. That's smart. He's a politician for real. Look at him, dude. This is really smart of him. To know that they're dating. Oh. oh, that's so true. Now they get to spend time together too. That's cute. I like that. Got him. We all knew that was coming, right? Nah. Oh, never mind. And what if he says he wants to be your vice captain? I mean, president. Damn. Milashka, bro. Milashka. Huh? It was a re zero reference? I'll be there with you and for you. Is that the Reader Zero reference? Or shut up and take my hand. What part of ReZero is that? Oh, the Betty scene. Oh. Yeah, I don't really remember that much. I'm going to be real with you. I got to rewatch it. Chat, by the way, September. September, chat. We are rewatching ReZero. ReZero rewatch. September. Not like the last week, like starting from the beginning of September, because it's going to be a lot.
All of it. All of all of it. It's gonna we're starting from the very beginning. Oh, we don't get to find out what that one is? Your Chibila be you? Your Chibila be you. Oh, shit. <gasps> oh, you just told on yourself. Oh, dog, you told on yourself. Oof. Number two on the list of things a rom-com MC should never do in a confession scene. Oh, <laughs> so she was confessing. Wait, what's the number one? Oh, ask her to repeat what she said. Okay. Damn, shut up and take my hand. She slapped him. That's kind of funny. I like that. Also, that's kind of wild. She just slapped him. I'll be real with you, bro. I'm slapping the fuck out of her hand. I'm not taking it. You got me fucked up, bro. I already took your hand. I'm not taking it again. Won't be the last time, bro. You're in an anime. You're going to get slapped up a bunch. He was considered a child prodigy. Whoa. Oh, that's why he's lazy. Smart people are often lazy. That's true. It's the people that work hard that end up getting recognized for being smarter. But smart people are often lazy. Like myself, when I was in school, I was lazy. Because I'm so smart, bro. I was a child prodigy, too. I don't appreciate your laughter. Don't do that. Whoa. That's not even the affected cheek. You gotta kiss. You kissed the wrong cheek. How are you gonna heal the wounds? You have to kiss the other cheek. I felt your lips. Is that it? Damn! Okay, wait, there's a whole lot after. Oh yeah, new OP. Or ED, I mean. Why did we have a fucking 80-minute discussion about soccer versus football? Or are they borrowing EDs from other anime chat? Joe, this is the Haruhi ending song? Haruhi Suzumiya? I haven't seen it before. I feel like last week y'all mentioned that the song that was playing was from a different anime, is what I mean to say. So they're doing that every single week? They're they're covering a different song from a different anime. Not only anime songs, but popular Japanese songs. Oh. How long until she does Idol? Pretty popular song in Japan, just saying. It was at least. I don't know if it still is. Anyways, we'll move on. Yachibile Bio. Yachibile Bio. I don't know. I think you do like him. Standing up in your bed? She confessed and he missed it, of course. I watched the show on Crunchyroll. You guys watch it illegally or you watch it on like Muse Asia or something. Okay? I get it. I live in America. I can watch it illegally, but I don't do that. I watch it legally through licensed uh, platforms, okay? For some reason, and I think it has something to do with the fact that they just showed us what she actually said, but for some reason, they showed the thingy in, in uh, Russian, okay? They showed it in Russian, and so I saw it in Russian. So I wasn't exactly sure of what she said. Through context clues, I managed to decipher that she was confessing her love. Exactly what she said, I don't know. I didn't know it was, I love you. It could have been like, I like you, or stay with me, or or protect, I don't know. Could have been a number of things. Because they didn't translate it into English. They decided to slap the Russian subtitles on there, okay? 
Oh, dude. She really doesn't have the confidence here. She doesn't she doesn't realize how much he actually loves her. How much he feels about her. Or how she feels about her, rather. <laughs> she looks so funny just throwing a temper tantrum on the bed. Uh-oh. Sisters. Sisters here. You gotta stop throwing the temper tantrum. She's gonna come around. And she's gonna catch you. And she's really gonna make her feel embarrassed. Remember what I said last episode, by the way, chat. Last episode, I said she is going to give up on her love so that way her sister can be happy. She is the childhood friend. The Russian girl from when they were kids. But she's going to throw it all away because she loves her sister so much and wants to see her happy. Because that is a trope in anime. That's a trope. Yeah, that's an actual trope. Oh, okay. Bro, for a second, I thought she was about to tell her. I don't know. I'd say it looks like a cat. The expression in the eyes. Ain't no way. Chat! Oh. I, I know it. She's not going to pursue. She's going to give up on her love so that way her sister can be in love. That's what a good sibling does. Why does a childhood friend always lose? Honestly, why though? Really, really when you think about it, why? Who invented the concept of the childhood friend? And why did they make them cute? And why did they start writing manga? About that cute girl that's liked you ever since you were young, not get have, like not even having a remote shot with you. That's fucked up. They shouldn't end up with anybody. In fact, I would argue, in real life, they probably don't end up with anybody. The main characters of these stories in real life, obviously not a real story where the the girl that they like is interested in them. The childhood friend doesn't like them either. Maybe I don't know. Childhood friends invented the concept of childhood friends. M maybe they're more often the male childhood friend getting denied by the woman going after the hot guy. And so all these mangaka that were childhood friends started writing about the opposite scenario where it's the girl childhood friend going after the guy and the guy's interested in the hot girl. I see it. I can see it. Whoa. That's a lie. You literally told him you love him. <laughs> Especially when you hide your feelings in Russian. Otherwise, a childhood friend might show up and take him away from you. Or maybe his biological sister will. What? Chat, I'm just saying. That's a thing that they've already hinted at. Biological sister. She said Wincest. She's about that life, chat. I didn't create this. They created it. How often do I root for an Emoto? I don't root for Emotos. The only Emoto I've ever rooted for is low-key kind of this one because she said she literally said Wincest. That's crazy. Good stuff. What did you guys think? Let me know down in the comments. And if you enjoyed the video, don't just leave a comment. Also, like and subscribe. Till next time, make sure you all keep it fresh. Peace.